Hello everyone, Rex here and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pikmin. Today we are going to go ahead and go to the Forest Naval for a third day in a row. We have just under half of the parts here. And today, I think I actually want to try and aim for three of the parts. It's going to be a little bit of a tough ask, but... Well, let's just see if we can do that, actually. So let's go ahead and start by plucking a bunch of these blues here. Uh, because for for the first part that I'm planning on getting today, we actually need all three of the Pikmin types. Let's see, and 16. Okay. Um, so I think what I want... Maybe 20 yellows? Um, I have 16 blues. Let's go ahead and do 40 blues and then 40 red. No, I'm gonna need more reds, I think. Let's do 30 blues and then 50 reds. That should be good. Also, we should have the bomb rocks respond today. So we can blow up more walls, which will also be a good thing to do. Uh, let's see. Actually, let's go to my map real quick. So the parts I want to get are these three down there. Um, which can definitely be tough, but I think we can do it. Uh, let's see, though. I'm kind of turned around. Please tell me none of you got stuck behind that. Okay, thank you. It's really annoying to have them get stuck on things. Okay, I guess some of you will want to get nectar, so... Eat up, buddies. Eat up. That said, though, we have to make haste. We can't waste too much time here. So there we go. That's all the nectar you guys get for now. If you guys do well, you can get more nectar later on in the day. I think that's a fair compromise. Oh, there's still a Wally Walk there. I'm not gonna worry about that guy today, though. Uh, okay, so first of all, there's one of those guys over there. So I just want my reds. Ah, eh, 46 reds should be fine. No, no, no. Let's just swarm him. Oh, come on. With this guy, you really just want to watch out that he doesn't knock anyone into uh, the water if you fight him with reds. Because he can do that, and that is definitely annoying if he does. Uh, but yeah, we took him out relatively easily, so now let's get the rest of our Pikmin squad. And we're gonna have everyone work towards breaking down this wall. Everyone work. Even you, little blue. I know you're blue, but you still gotta work towards getting this down. And there's nothing else we can do while while this is going on. We'll we'll just simply have to wait and deal with this. So yeah, that's unfortunate. There's really not much else we can do. I guess I can just punch this pellet down in case I decide I want to collect it later on. Doesn't really matter though. It's just a single pellet. Uh, it would have helped if I had broken this wall down yesterday, I suppose. Since we did have some time left, but that's okay. We spent the time getting bodies back to the ship and growing our blues a lot. So I don't really regret doing that at all. Uh, already a quarter of the day gone. Okay, good. Now all of you. This is very dangerous because there is fire here in these spouts. So you want everyone to stand up against the wall. Especially those who are not reds. Oh my god, please. Everyone get over here, you idiots. Okay, you know what? Doing this in such a big group is probably a bad idea. So, fine, fine, we'll split you guys up. 
and I'll start taking my 50 reds since they can just walk through the fire and it's not as big of a deal with them. And we can just scout this out. Now, unfortunately, these fire spouts cannot be destroyed. In later Pikmin's, you can destroy the fire spouts. In Pikmin 1, you cannot. Okay, now all of you get on destroying this. I don't know. You, go ahead. Help, help build. Okay. So while those reds are starting on that bridge, we're going to go ahead and see if we can carry the rest of our squad across. Um, I suppose I will start with my blues. All of you? All 30 of you. Yep, there we go. And yeah, this time we have to be a lot more careful. Now you can do two things. You can just wait until the fire stops spouting and then try to run across, or you can guide them across the wall. I personally like guiding them across the wall since, well, you don't have to really wait as much. But it can be safer to, um, or it can help, maybe be easier for you to just guide them across the uh, fire spouts when it stops. Anyway, here we have one of the parts. I found my analog computer. This computer conveys the kind of fake data that falls outside the range of ones and zeros. Actually, to be honest, it's a little bit too vague, so it isn't very helpful. Which is just lovely, but... We want to go ahead and have the blues just carry this out of the water. As long as they carry it out of the water, you're good. You don't really want them to do much more than that because uh, they can't really get it past these fire spouts safely. Uh, we want to wait for that. They, they're actually going to go ahead and get that part that we see over there in a moment. Uh, once this bridge is done though... It's almost, it should be almost done. I'm just going to go ahead and... What? No, 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 no blues. Ugh. I wanted to leave them separate, but of course that never is going to work. See, because the thing that I wanted to do was just spread them out so that my blues would just stand here and my reds would be separate from them. But that didn't really work out in my favor, did it? Oh, come on. Swap the camera around. There we go. What we want to do with these blues next is break this guys are open and they've done that so yeah the blues are good here and we're gonna go ahead and carry them back across here because I want to see if I can get that part up there I think I can if I that's a beetle I'm not gonna worry about that some of you attack that is this really what I wanted to do? I don't know. Doesn't really matter. I'm not gonna worry about this beetle here. I'm gonna go ahead and. Oh, damn it. Didn't mean to get hit. Okay. Next up, we need our yellows. So let's walk all the way over and start getting these guys across the fire. I definitely don't want to forget about my blues. So hopefully I, I remember that I sent them up there. Okay. Good. I have my yellows now. Because this part... Oh, this part can actually be really mean. Because this part can actually glitch off of the map. And it will be gone forever if that happens. So we're going to have to hope it doesn't. One of our pigments fell down. But that's okay. Oh, damn it. I just threw some off the cliff. That was dumb. That that was just really dumb. I, I really don't know why I did that. But I did. Okay, you guys just stand there. Okay, good. Now we have our reds. And... Come on, camera. Oh, I hate how the camera works in this game sometimes. I'm gonna go ahead and put a bunch of my reds here on this part. Make sure to leave at least 20 reds because you also need to get their part. And that's what the rest of these reds will do. 
What? What? Why? Why are you falling into water? Oh my god. Why was it dropped so close to the water? That is really stupid, actually. Don't fall in the water, please. Please, just start carrying it. Can you guys can can you add to it? You can you add to it? There you go. That that's good. Uh, okay, let's see. So these blues walked up here. Just go up, go up this as well. Um, right, my yellows are still over at the other part. I'll get to them in a l moment. I, I can't believe I threw some yellows off though. That is pretty dumb. I don't think I've ever had that happen. I found my number one Ionium jet. Unfortunately, this puts out slightly odoriferous exhaust, but it does propel me to escape velocity in an instant. The stench is a small price to pay for such performance. Yeah, that definitely sounds like pretty good performance. So we'll put you guys on there. Um, and I guess you guys can go ahead and build this. That sounds fine. Uh, that's all three of the parts that I wanted to get today going back to base though. So that is actually very good. Next up, I'll have to go ahead and go back to save my yellows. Hey, right, that's the first of the two parts coming in today. Sweet. And this part is going to take a bit longer, but that's okay. Libra, my daughter gave this to me. My late return must have her very worried. I've now recovered 11 out of 30 parts. If I can just find one more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. So we definitely will today since this one is on its way back, as well as the one that some of our blue friends have. I'll probably carry this back with the yellows. Or no, wait, that wouldn't be very smart since I gotta use my bombs smartly since they respawn daily. So you definitely want to use your bombs every day if you have a need for them. And there are very many walls still available here that we can blow up. So there we go. The number one Ionium jet. If this is damaged, I'll be in dire straits. I will have to run a system check as soon as I can. I've recovered 12 out of 30 parts, increasing the dolphin's capabilities. My search can now cover a wider area. So very good. The dolphin now gets a bit of a visual upgrade. It's pretty cool. And sparkles. And yeah, we'll now have access to another new area. That said, I probably won't be going to that tomorrow. Since I like to just complete an area entirely before moving on. Uh, now I could put some guys on this, but honestly, I think I have enough yellows, even losing the few that I did today. I'm not going to be worried about it. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, grab some bombs and blow up some walls. Come on, little buds. Keep up with the group. Uh, the time is already o almost over, though. That is unfortunate. Time really does go fast. I always feel like I have more time and then it turns out to be over pretty quickly. It's always a little bit disappointing. Well, there we go. Analog computer. This strengthens the outward emotions of the dolphin's computer. While it does make the computer smart, it also makes it quick to anger. It's just like my boss. So we have recovered 13 out of 30 parts. So 60 more. That's right. All but one part are needed to unlock the final area. Um, where where was I going? I think I was going up this ledge. No, wait. That's that's the wrong bridge. Ah, sometimes you get turned around when it switches to a cutscene. Okay, okay. Let's see. Um, should I bomb this wall? Let's just bomb this wall. It probably isn't very necessary to bomb this wall, but I already decided to anyway. So, too late now? Uh, I think there was one wall over here, though, that was almost broken down. I'm not, maybe not the most efficient with my bombing, and I'll fully admit that. 
but I tend to just bomb what I feel might be helpful in the moment. Oh, it's almost sundown. That's not great. Will this blow you down? Okay, it will. Um, where are walls that I want to get? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you guys, actually, let's get you guys back into base. As well as you guys. As well as you guys. Come on. Just come. Come. You guys need to chill in base. Because I don't want to leave anyone behind. Uh, I, can't, I don't think I have time to blow up any more walls. Unfortunately. Um, unless there was one here, right? Can I quickly blow it? I think I lost track of where it was. Yep, I got turned around pretty badly. Oh. Maybe we can blow it. Well, we did that just in time. It didn't blow it up completely. Hopefully I didn't leave any behind. I don't think I did. Well, you can always tell from the final cutscene at the end of the day because if you leave any behind, the enemies will eat them or crush them or whatever. But it doesn't look like I'm leaving any behind. So that's good at least. We did throw three yellow pigments off a ledge. So that was dumb. But we didn't lose anyone else today and... We got three parts. So yeah, our pigment population may have suffered very slightly. But other than that, it was a good day. I've managed to increase the range of the dolphin. Looking from the dolphin's portal as it launches ever higher into the sky, I see a vast wetland in the deepest part of the forest. I shall call it the Distant Spring. I can now begin my exploration of it tomorrow. For now, I must sleep. So yeah, we lost three in battle, although that was just tossing them off a ledge and that was the three yellows. Other than that, we did well. We got, have uh, 17 parts remaining and 24 days remaining, so that's definitely pretty good. But uh, yeah, that will do it for today's episode. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all tomorrow for some more Let's Play Pikmin.